two objects are projected with the same velocity u. However, at different angles, alpha and beta with the horizontal. If alpha plus beta is equal to 90, the ratio of the horizontal range of the first object to the second will be, okay, see. So this is something that we often discuss in class and we often you know, make students write this repeatedly so that you know, they can just save a lot of time during the examination. The correct option is option one, option four, which is one is to one. And we also say this during the class that if R1 and R2 are such that the same projectile, same body in two different ways, right? And then we have alpha plus beta is equal to 90 is zero. And again, we have R1 and R2 for two different bodies, right? Two different bodies with the same velocity u. And again, if alpha plus beta is equal to 90, we get the same as something that we've been discussing time and time again. But what we also need to understand is, also, also, also need to understand is, the the you know the, the mathematical part behind this or or, or i would say uh, rather the 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 derivation part behind this let us also have a look at that so now see if you're going through this video and if you feel that you have not um, been uh, or say you, you're not exposed to these kind of formulas that's okay not all people prepare in the same way but if you get a chance to prepare then i think there shouldn't be an excuse there right so uh Let's now discuss this question. So we have alpha plus beta, alpha plus beta given to us as 90 degrees, right? Let us say this the object is projected with velocity u and there are two ranges here, which is R1 and R2. R1 is projected with at an angle alpha and R2 is projected at an angle beta. Now, what is the formula for? What is the formula for range? We know that formula for range is R is equal to u squared sine 2 theta the whole upon g in which case what is r1 so we have r1 is equal to u squared sine 2 what is theta theta is alpha in this case sine alpha by g and what is r2 r2 will be equal to u squared sine 2 beta the whole upon g now let us find out the ratio. So what is R1 by R2? R1 by R2 now is equal to U square, U square sine to alpha the whole upon G, the whole upon U square sine to beta the whole upon G, uh, which is equal to, which is equal to. So now we have U square by G by U square by G is one. So all we get is sine to alpha the whole upon sine to beta. So, R1 by R2 is now equal to sine 2 alpha by sine 2 beta. So, let us write it down. Sine 2 alpha by sine 2 beta. Sine 2 beta. Now, see, what is given to us is alpha plus beta is equal to 90 degree. In which case, what is beta is equal to? Beta is equal to 90 minus alpha. So, instead, we will have here 2 beta. Instead of 2 beta, instead of 2 beta, we will have 2 into beta, which is 90 minus alpha which gives us sine to alpha the whole upon sine 180 minus right sine 180 minus 2 alpha now see what is sine 180 minus theta sine 180 minus theta is equal to is equal to sine theta in which case in which case what is sine 180 minus 2 alpha sine 180 minus 2 alpha will also be equal to sine 2 alpha and sine 2 alpha by 2 alpha is 1 and therefore r1 by r2 is equal to 1 by 1 which gives us the correct option as 1 is to 1. All right so that's the uh, I think uh, I think more questions are there on uh, based on range and um, you know um, range and horizontal displacement uh, but I think I have to say specifically with respect to 2023 20, um j means the kind of questions the 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 more there were more variety of questions being asked more you know linking work energy power linking uh motion in a straight line motion in a plane uh, of course that's that's what the trend of j means is but this time i would say the variety of questions within one session itself was really high um like say for example typical examples the next question next question which actually deals with kinetic energy um at you know kinetic energy of the of an object at various points Though it's not directly related to, okay, let's do one thing. Let's discuss the next question. So let's move on. So what we have is 